Thanks for coming, Martin. Uh, thank you. Very nice to have you here. Thank you. And I'm sorry that I had to break it to you just 20 minutes ago that oh, this was going on tonight. Well, it's okay. It was a shame about the writers. Did you see what happened? <laughs> did, you see, did you see the one hanging off the, the hood of the car? I know truck? there's one that it's actually like one got impaled pictures. on the hood did of the car. That? that was really a good touch, I think. Was that good filmmaking? Yes, it was really excellent. <laughs> and I thought it was really a thank you. Idea. I'm not kidding. Thank you. That's that great, because wait. When I, when I told the you, thing with the horse was great. Oh, great! When I told you backstage that we were doing this tonight, you said, "Well, I hope there's a Trojan horse thing," and you I had no idea. <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, glad to <laughs> glad that you approved of all oh, that. I love it. I love all it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, listen, I I'm been looking forward to having you on the show for quite a while. I'm a huge fan of the movies and that you've made. And the first thing I wanted to ask you was, we live at a time right now where uh, movies are rigorously tested and uh, very difficult to to get your own vision made. And the movies you've made pretty much. 201, actually. Movies like Taxi Driver, Raging Bull. My first question is, how do you get movies like that made? How did you get them made at the time? Didn't you get a ton of interference? Oh, yeah. On Taxi Driver, we had uh, a lot of problems, but we, we uh, had a good basis. Um, what we did there, basically, was a very low budget, about a million dollars, all mm -hmm. in. And um, this is 1975. And De Niro had just won the Academy Award for Godfather II. And they had just seen my, my um, uh, film, Mean Streets, mm -hmm. and which De Niro was also in. They figured they sold the two of us together mm -hmm. into a sort of package for Taxi Driver, and we shot it 40 days, actually 40 days and nights here in New York. A million dollars yeah. to make a movie. Yeah. Because that's what this episode cost tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know well, that these shows, togas are $600,000 well, almost the a piece? I Thank you. I, 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 I'm, an ancient, <laughs> I'm an ancient world buff, actually. Oh, I great. Well, I, then you're I, here on a good I night. Perfect timing. All right. So so a million dollars, but but I'm, I'm specifically, didn't you have people on the phone saying, with Raging Bull, you're saying, okay, what I want to do is make a movie about a, a boxer that, that, that few people remember. I want to shoot yeah. it in black and white. Yeah. I want it to really focus on the misery of his life yeah, and the I misery know. of the people around him. Didn't they say, wait a minute, in the end, can he win a lot of money? And uh, they did say, wait a minute, a number of times, but we had a very good producer, uh, two producers, Bob um, uh, Irwin Winkler and Bob mm -hmm. Chartoff, mm -hmm. who kind of shielded me from that. And we were in the 70s, you know, was a different thing. The 70s is sort of like a golden age of American cinema, along with the 50s and, and the 40s and 30s, because you had a lot of actual personal films, original voices making films, Robert Altman, mm -hmm. uh, Bogdanovich, mm -hmm. uh, Cimino, a whole bunch of them, Coppola, uh, Spielberg started, uh, all Lucas all of that sort of thing, and uh, De Palma. And at that time, it was the time of the director. Up until we were finishing Raging Bull, Raging Bull was at the same studio as Heaven's Gate, uh, which... Which Cimino is... Which Cimino made, which is a, a, actually quite an extraordinary movie, but what happened was that it went way over budget, da-da-da. Next thing you know, the whole stu it opened. It, it closed in one night because of a, one bad review, I understand. Uh -huh. uh, the film was cut, and uh, we opened nine days before that. So he and we kind went of down with it. So they you were know? kind of running interference for yeah, you in a they, way. They, in a funny way, they were sort of running interference because they had to they had to deal with that film, which is, as I say, some extraordinary stuff in that mm -hmm. film, and hasn't really been given its 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 due. But that ended a period of uh, of uh, filmmaking in America, which is. Uh, uh, more personal, I think, and it's 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 a problem now to get the pictures made. And now, apparently, when pictures like that are made, they, they they're sort of treated like this yeah. is uh, you know this is a weird little movie, and that's almost how they're promoted I as know, I know. you know this was uh, made in a foreign country or this was exactly. this is an art film. Exactly, they, 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 it's it's almost like uh, art has become a, a bad word in a way, and it's a funny mm -hmm. thing to think about. It. It's almost 20 years ago. I mean, Taxi Driver is now the 20th anniversary. It's playing which down was reissued, playing down at the film forum right that's now. That's right in stereo and mm -hmm. restored because we mixed it. it took five days to mix it originally mm -hmm. and uh, now the remixing has been done with the stereo tracks and all that but it's much more difficult to, to get the kind of picture I, I make made these days and it has to do with you know people like De Niro and it's, mm -hmm. uh, Sharon Stone and the film mm -hmm. helps um, that sort of thing. Now what about uh, a, a film like Taxi Driver you don't look at your films I, do I you once they're made? Except, no that's it I've had enough. <laughs> really? Know, but too, so much too... time has gone by yeah, no, and, and, and Taxi Driver is such a classic you'd no, think you'd want to go back and look I, at it. I can't take it. But we actually—it's too, it's too much. I can't. It's too personal, too embarrassing. I get like uh, you get. Re I, oh, I, I know that feeling. Sure. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm looking at this show tonight? <laughs> I get home. I and I get home and watch this. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. What? I'm wearing a dress. Uh, <laughs> uh, but 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 it's interesting to me is that that you won't even look at it. We actually, um, Taxi Driver is a movie that we, we wanted to just show a clip of your work here tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went, and to show a clip of Taxi Driver, the, it was prohibitively high, the cost. We couldn't do it. We had blown the really? money on this crap. And uh, we couldn't show it. So what we actually did tonight is uh -oh. we, uh, we made a clip of our own. 
okay. of Taxi Driver. Great, we did the best we that. could. We used our own resources. And uh, so here is our clip of Taxi Driver, uh, yeah, a, a, a classic. Uh, enjoy. Take a look. Were you addressing me? Were you addressing me? Hmm? Were you addressing me? Well, there's no one else here, is there? Unless I'm sadly mistaken. There's no one else here. Ooh, you made me hurt my neck. You ruffian, you hoodlum. Were you addressing me? Tony Randall, the best. So this begs the question, why didn't you go with Tony Randall originally? I don't know. I kick myself now when I think of it. You it's ruffian, terrible. you hooligan. I know, I know. <laughs> I love Tony. Listen, uh, can you hang on one second? Because we want to take a break. Do your very best. Uh, we're going to have more with Martin Scorsese when we come back. Stick around. <laughs>